Okay, so I'm going to try to uh, take you through this. We're going to see the tulips, and uh, it'll be a short ride. We're going to jump in the car right now. Actually, I've chopped out a lot of the trip because this is very close. We're actually um, very near there. We're in a small little town called Mount Vernon, and uh, we're just going to go through the little town right here <laughs> and see um, how it works out for us. Uh, everything's in bloom everywhere you look and uh, it's an interesting uh, ride to come up here. I love these little small towns because they really give you a taste of um, you know Americana. You kind of see how everybody lives and uh, just after we come around here though I think we're gonna let's detour let's detour right here and then we'll go uh, into downtown and see if we can stop and get a bite to eat because uh, we didn't have breakfast so oh parking spot right here let's pull right in and go in here. Okay, we ate, and now we're jumping back in the car, and uh, we're gonna get off and go. Okay, we're, we're gone out of downtown, and we're through this little uh, village part, I guess you'd say, of Mount Vernon, and uh, we're getting very close to this main, beautiful um, uh, business that hosts this uh, tulip festival every year. They're beautiful. You can see just up here, we're going to get ready to turn uh, into the parking lot. And um, here we go. So we're going to take a right, right here. They've got it all set up very professionally. They've been doing this for years. So we'll travel down this little gravel uh, entrance here um, and then follow the, uh, the signs in. And uh, they've got folks really waving us in, letting us know where we should park, and uh, very organized. We're very early in the morning, so we're some of the first people to get here. Now, this is just going to give you a little preview of what we're walking up to, and uh, this is called Rose Garten. Rosen Garten, I think, is the name of the folks, and uh, or Rosen is their name, and Garten stands for garden, I suppose, but uh, they've been here for many, many, for a couple generations, I think. And you can just see how beautiful it is inside. I mean, look at the fields of tulips as far as you can see. And uh, of course, they also sell uh, tulip bulbs also. Let me not interrupt this person. Let's see if I can get around here and, and see. Okay, yep, yeah. oh, yep, that's me. And uh, here we go, a nice panoramic view, the mountains in the back, all the colors of tulips in the fields. It's just absolutely amazing. If you get a chance to come up to Washington State and go to Mount Vernon, uh, it's worth it. There's a few different venues up here, a few different uh, concerns that uh, display their, their tulips for the public. Uh, for a price, you know, you come in and take a look. And there, we try to get in on the mountains. Look at all the colors, all the fields of tulips. It's just amazing. These folks come from uh, Holland originally, I believe, these uh, folks that uh, farm this land right here. Gorgeous colors, amazing varieties. Of course, you could buy. But now we're leaving. They kind of cut off quickly, but we'll head down the road here. We're going to stop in a little bit at another venue. And so hang on, and I'll show you that. And look how fast those people are walking. It's just amazing how fast they walk. Look, 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 look. <laughs> so we'll take a right. We'll zoom down the road and uh, you'll get to see, first of all, how beautiful the area is with everything starting to come into bloom. Another little peek at uh, this charming uh, little community. and That's the warehouses on the left where they sell the bulbs out of for Rose Garden. But uh, we'll keep going down here. Um, it had been very rainy coming down. I cut all that out of the video and luckily somehow it stopped raining just as we got here. Uh, into this little city. So um, it's been a wonderful trip and um, I've been, I always enjoyed coming here. Now it's been a couple of years since we uh, came down, although I thought I had been here last year, but old age, your memory goes, you know. You can see, look, on the right here, see that's another concern there, so we'll whip around there in a minute and see if we can take a peek at those uh, fields and what's different. I'm going to turn right, right here. Yep, let's do it. Okay. And then uh, here's this little fella carrying his baby, hurrying to get down to the, see the tulips of this place. I don't know the name of this 
and you on the left are the red tulips. Folks getting all excited on the right. And, you know, but at the last moment, I guess we decided we'd just pass it up. Uh, we wasn't clear how to pay or how much to pay, so we're just going to head on back through the town. That's what we looked at today. We looked at tulips, and now we're headed back through Mount Vernon, over the Skagit River, and getting ready to jump on the expressway in just a bit and take uh, this ride home. You'll get a short version of it because I cut out all the boring stuff, but uh, even maybe what's left is a little boring, you might think. I don't know. But um, it's a cute little town. And uh, we're going to take a left at this light, and um, you'll get to see where we come up onto the expressway here towards Seattle. Now this is very close to home here. I just cut out a big bunch and so you can see this beautiful drive down at the bottom of this mountain that we live on is an industrial area and it's the most beautiful industrial area I've ever seen. Gorgeous trees are all just starting to come into bloom now. And so we'll follow this car along for a little bit until we get to the main drive uh, or the main street rather that uh, we'll turn on to go up the mountain and towards uh, my place. So traffic has been reasonable today. It's still early. We spent a couple hours out there and it's about an hour to get there. And you know, an hour back and now we've almost come into the area that I drive every single day, uh, which is again, just the trees are starting to flower. And I'll give you an update a little bit later on in the season when they're fully, fully in bloom. Um, even now, it's unbelievably beautiful. I think the people here just take it for granted. I'm from Florida, so, oh look, there's the price of the gas. Can you see it right there? So it's per gallon. So, you know, I'm from Florida, so we don't have this variety of almost electric looking color in our trees. In Florida, it's more about the ocean and the sand and the surf and all of it's beautiful. Now here's my main drive uh, before I get to the place uh, where I'm gonna turn in. Uh, to uh, where I go. This little place on the right here shows great chicken on the grill. And um, they opened up just as the pandemic started. So that was unfortunate for them, but they made it work. They're still going. Here are all the, I've got to find out what are the names of these trees. I don't know them, but look at this, an industrial area. You'd never believe it just by driving through and seeing how beautifully it's landscaped. And just shortly up here, we're going to take a left-hand turn and hit that final stretch of road uh, before I get home. We'll be driving up the mountain and I'll show you uh, a little bit different uh, flora as we get over there. But uh, this fellow's poking along, so I'll just poke along behind him. But uh, the light's coming up just about at the edge of all these yellow uh, trees that you see here. We're gonna be taking that turn. And uh, it's been a fun day. It was a nice thing to do and we're back uh, in time to spend the rest of the day, I don't know, messing around in the garden, wishing we had more tulips planted, I suppose. But um, you can see here, I'm going to veer around this car. There we go. And get ready to take that left-hand turn. And I've just had the best of luck with lights today. So we'll cruise to this caution light. And you're going to see these trees on the left, they go from green to brown to red to purple. Now they're kind of orange, and uh, the weeping willow here has been cut out. You can see on the left so the trucks can pass under it. And I'm trying to debate whether I'm going to take you all the way to the house. But we're going up the mountain. We're getting ready to take, I think this is the first uh, curve. And then we're going to have uh, another one to the right. Coming up right here, my place is buried up in the trees up the top of this dark mountain. And then we'll have one more curve, and I've got to decide if I'm going to let you go all the way to the house. So I think probably we're not going to go all the way. I'll just stop right here and give you a flashback of what we saw. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.